As this first quarter of 2014 is drawing to a close, we want to take a step back, take a look at the market as a whole, look at the pace of sales, volume of sales, and we'll look at it especially relative to 2013, get a sense of where we are in 2014 and how it's looking moving forward. Looking at new listings so far in 2014, we have had 188 new listings in Cambridge. Now that includes everything, single families, condos, multifamilies. Looking at the same period last year in 2013, we had 269 new listings. So 30% fewer new listings in 2014, which is a little disheartening in a market that already is overrun with buyer demand. We really would like to see that inventory number stay equal or increase would be even better. The decrease in inventory is Obviously very good news for sellers. Anybody considering selling in Cambridge is walking into just a phenomenal seller's market right now. And shifting gears and looking at how many properties have sold in 2014, there were 188 new listings and 179 listings have been sold. That's a shocking number. It's a 95% absorption rate. Of the 269 new listings in 2013, 162 had been sold at this point in the year. That's a 60% absorption rate. And we thought that was an unprecedented pace. Looking at average prices, in 2013, there was an average sale price of 658,000 for that first quarter. This year in Cambridge, it's $797,000. That's a 21% increase in the average sale price in Cambridge. Another interesting statistic to understand is our average sale price is 102% of the asking price, which means on average, these properties are getting multiple offers and the price is being driven up beyond the asking price by an average of 2%. Looking at the same time period in 2013, the average sale price there was 99% of the ask. So on average, properties were selling just 1% under the asking price. So it's been a fast and furious start to 2014 in the Cambridge real estate market. To keep up with these data and more, please visit laurenholloran.com.